This is, for what it's worth, the world's first Mary Worth podcast. Sam and Eric use coarse language, and if you are offended by coarse language, please save yourself some trouble and cover your ears. Less since birth, I earth slam your vest, I bakes the cake, then take the cake and eat it too. With my crew, we head state to state. And if you want beef, then bring the ruckus, cause Mary Worth ain't nothing to fuck with. And this is for what it's worth, the world's first and only Mary Worth podcast. My name is Method Sam. Uh, hi, name is Ghostface Eric. Sorry. Hey. This is a new show. We yep. did another one. 26. 26, that means we've been doing this bullshit for half a year. Oh, God. And what a journey it's been. Yep. We died and went to hell, and then we came back as ghosts. And now we're rich. We're trillionaires. Multi-trillionaires. Uh, speaking of which... Mm-hmm. My deliveries are here. Oh, fantastic! I ordered a couple of things before we uh, went to vacation to... Uh, uh, Twin Peaks. Oh, yeah. yeah, what did you order? Well, first thing I ordered, just, you know, spur of the moment, uh, was a solid gold statue of the Pokemon, uh, Lickitung. That's my favorite. Oh, Lickitung, that's a pretty good choice there, Eric. Yeah, it's a solid gold, it's about four feet tall. It's pretty cool. That's pretty neat. I also ordered, and uh, this was the kind of half your idea, too, um... We got uh, King Ramsey's tomb, uh, and uh, we're we're waiting on the uh, King Tut, so right. we can make uh, bunk beds of the sarcophaguses, and uh, so that'll be pretty fun. Yeah, see, here's the problem. We came up with this because since we started doing this podcast, we've been sleeping in the same bed. Yeah, it's and, pretty uh, uncomfortable. It's pretty uncomfortable. It's hard bringing girls back to the studio to impress them. Yep. When we say, oh, over there in that corner of the studio is the dirty little bed that Eric and I sleep in together. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing funny going on. <laughs> no uh, monkey business. I mean, but, if it's uh, cold, if it's cold, we cuddle a little bit. Well, that's, a, <laughs> that's expected. Well, yeah, naturally. You have to group together to conserve body heat. So <laughs> we've, yep. we've got these two ancient golden sepulchers now on the way to the studio. So we can make yep. some bunk beds like real grown-ups. Yep. And that impresses the ladies. When they come in and they see those golden bunk beds, they'll know we mean business. Yep. And, and the two mummies that we just shoved in the closet to make room for, for ourselves. I was thinking that we could do something funny with the mummies, like uh, maybe set them up next mm. to the bar and put them in little tuxedos and they're holding a must- yes. uh, martini glass. Wow. I mean, come on, That's King Tut idea. hasn't had any fun in like 2,000 years. Let's, let's let him live it up a yep. little bit. Um. I've invested half of my, or a uh, part of my share of the ten trillion dollars, in becoming a feudal warlord. Oh. Uh, you see, I've always wanted to kind of have a barbarian horde of my own, so I commissioned. Well, yeah, a, that's, that's understandable. I commissioned a suit of golden chain mail and platinum armor. Wow. Uh, yeah, the uh, they're still working on it. I, I've got a horned helmet, and the. Uh, the helmet is actually, uh, it's made of gold, naturally, but the horns are uh, carved out of ruby. Oh, awesome. And trust that me, sounds, it was... That, that sounds really stylish. Well, trust me, man, it wasn't easy finding rubies that big. Uh, oh. oh, don't I know it. I just went out this <laughs> afternoon and I picked up my obsidian battle axe. Oh, great. Yeah, uh, so pretty soon, look out for my uh, barbarian horde rushing into your town and... Murdering all your family and burning your house to the ground. Oh, that's great. Uh, good, good for you. I'm, I'm proud of you. Well, Eric, I, I think we've put in a lot of work on this show, and I think we deserve to get the things we want out of it now. Yep. Totally agree. Let's let's spend a little time on Sam and Eric for once. Yep. It is really, really great being, being rich. Ha <laughs> ha. 
Um, how about this for a segue? Uh, cash rules everything around me. Cream, get the money. Mary, Mary, worth y'all. Um, um jerk. Do you want to do that? Hey. <laughs> the podcast. <laughs> yeah, let's do the podcast. All right. Um, so what happened last week, Eric? Um, Don met a one-armed man. Uh, and I think, I think he started talking backwards. Um, he was in a hospital. Yeah, and uh, they had uh, some delicious-looking uh, ham sandwiches on Wonder Bread, and they talked about some yeah. stuff, and they had a. Uh, uh, ham with maple syrup, because nothing beats the combination of those two flavors. Um, <laughs> nothing beats the flavor combina- combination of when ham meets maple syrup. That's too true. Um, that was really about it. They act for a long time. So, so they've talked for almost an entire week together. Uh, let's see what happens this week. <laughs> and uh, and uh, Wilbert's Still waiting for dinner. <laughs> but, oh, uh, poor Wilbino. He's gonna happens. waste away. This week, this week, this week, will Wilbur get dinner? Uh, <laughs> let's find out. That's my biggest question. Uh, Monday's comic strip? Yeah, let's do it. Dawn learns more about her new friend. Do you remember the Tots Island ferry accident that happened two months ago? Not really. I caught the aftermath on the local news, but I was out of the country at the time. That was where I lost my arm and... <laughs> oh. I'm sorry, Jim. Eric, yeah. when I read this comic strip for the first time, I stared at it for a good long while, and I said out loud to myself in my office at work, Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> also, uh, either there's some awkward shadows in that second panel, or, uh, t- Jim grew his arm, his uh, left arm back. <laughs> <laughs> it's his, oh, this gives a whole new meaning to phantom limb. Yep, it's... It shows up every once in a while. Jim has an evil dark arm made of shadow that emerges every now and then to cause and I, trouble. And I hear if you put on a special uh, pair of 3D glasses, you can see it. <laughs> it's, uh, that's true. Was that from that Are You Afraid of the Dark episode? No, it's from... <laughs> Do you remember that, though? <laughs> yes, <laughs> That was so fucking scary. <laughs> <laughs> I was making John Dies at the End reference. Oh, John Dies at the End. Another good one. Okay. Um, but seriously. I like that Don's and Don's are a little uh, lump of uh, tapioca pudding. <laughs> she's And the little bitty spoon. She's got a mini mouse spoon that she eats because her mouth uh-huh. isn't big enough for a grown-up spoon. <laughs> um, seriously, what in the fuck? While Dawn was surviving her cruise ship disaster, a fucking ferry disaster happened where a man <laughs> lost his arm. Yeah, what, what is going on? The <laughs> captains in the, the Mary Worth universe. <laughs> Apparently, one one bit of advice we should be able to give you from reading Mary Worth is never get on a fucking boat in Santa Royale, never. California. Planes are fine. Planes Boats. are cool. <laughs> you can do that thing where you stand on one foot on a motorcycle to show off. Get on a yep, boat. Be, it's guaranteed to sink. Yep. You're fucked. Every time. All the uh, options are drunk or incompetent or a mixture of the two. Hey, uh, speaking of which, what do you do with a drunken sailor? Early uh, in the morning. You fire him. I guess, because this is kind of a sad state of affairs. It's it's almost become um, a cliche at this point. Stay away yep. from boats, people. They're dangerous. I mean, cars are pretty safe in Mary Worth, unless, uh, you know, a drunk man is driving them. But uh, other than that... Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, pretty safe. S- 
safe. No boats. So, no uh, boats about it. Isn't Tuesday? that the phrase? Yeah, let's do Tuesday. <laughs> no boats about it. I'm sorry about your arm. Don't be. Everyone has something wrong with them. It's just with me. It's visible. I, I suspect, and I'm willing to bet, that there's a lot of invisible things wrong with both of these people. <laughs> yes, it, 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 my own problem is that if my arms was missing, I have no person, personality flaws or anything like that. Uh, every time. <laughs> <laughs> That's my only flaw is a visible, it's a visible one. My, uh, uh, one thing that I like doing is uh, looking at these panels with Jim in them and uh, just imagining that he does have an arm in that sleeve. The hand is just pulled inside. Yeah. <laughs> I, I mentioned it last week, but it works perfectly in every panel. <laughs> but Sam, he's not lying. Uh, Scout's honor. <laughs> first, first panel there. Uh, uh, I get it. <laughs> I got uh, Put your hand in the Bible and raise your right arm. Oh. Ooh. Oops. Eesh, that's Sorry. rough. <laughs> that means that, forgot. that means that he can never testify in court. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, we'll need to find a credible witness. Uh, he can't swear to the think, Lord that he's not lying. I think you have to take off one of your shoes and put your foot on the Bible. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but isn't it, uh, isn't everybody's, uh, honesty gland, like, in the left elbow? Like, isn't yeah, that where so. everything honest in your body comes from? Uh, yeah, I think so. That checks out. I mean, I only took, uh, six years of medical school before I dropped out to become a comedy entertainment podcaster. Yeah, uh, but, you know. Uh, we covered all the basics. <laughs> like, like where honesty is in your body. Yep, the uh, hon honesty center. Uh, how much love is in one's heart at any given time? Uh, how much a soul weighs? That was one of them. Yep, it's pretty great. Um, hey, here's the here's the the truth of the matter. Your funny bone is in your right arm. Your honest bone is in your left arm. Ah, I get it now. <laughs> yeah. So uh, if he had his right <laughs> arm cut off, um, well, well, let's Not just much say of a sense of humor. Uh, let's just say he might as well have. <laughs> so <laughs> Wednesday. Wednesday. My accident happened, and when the ferry I was on ran into the pier, F. Tur the captain passed out. Sounds terrible. I experienced something similar. My pe captain was passed out drunk. <laughs> Seriously, what the fuck is going on? It's... I think that we would have gotten the exact same story had we been following Jim this whole time. <laughs> but does, uh, Karen Moy have some kind of prejudice against, uh, ship captains? <laughs> Karen Moy's father was a ship captain. And he <laughs> said to her, Karen, one day you too will take to the sea and fulfill your destiny as no. a boy. He said, he... I, I say, yeah, <laughs> take a, take a trip on the ocean. And she said, no, Dad, I want to write cartoons for a living. And then her, no fucking daughter of mine's going to write cartoons. Uh, let, me, let me look at that. Let me look at that. And then she vomits all of, all of her drawings. Just, <laughs> and then rips it up. <laughs> and that's what <laughs> Karen Moy does not like captains. She's been biding her time all these years to make a comic strip solely getting revenge upon sea captains. Like, Very take sad. that, Dad. <laughs> my father and I were on the Italian cruise ship that's been in the news. The captain of my ship ran us into a rock. It seems we have maritime. Accidents common. Uh, <laughs> oh, Jim. Because that's like 
something someone would actually say. No, <laughs> I don't mean to presume, but I'm thinking these two might be striking up a romance. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think that perhaps Jim was like on OK Cupid and he found Dawn's profile? Yeah. <laughs> and she was like, <laughs> it popped up and it was like, hey, somebody else just listed maritime accidents in their profile. <laughs> That's like a whole section of a, of a dating site. Jim was <laughs> like, yes! M.A. dating. <laughs> M.A. dating. Maritime accidents. Also, I think uh, our old pal Ted Conley is up to his old tricks. He's pretending to be a doctor now. Oh, God. That's, don't, don't trust that guy. He just bought that stethoscope at a costume store. It doesn't even work. He didn't even go to the medical <laughs> supply store to get it. It's just one of those, like, a yellow and red Fisher-Price ones. <laughs> it's got a <laughs> suction cup on the end. <laughs> uh, do you know what I honestly thought when I saw this? This is one of those weird brain connections that I have. Yeah. Uh, do you remember that old movie Mac and Me? Yep. The stethoscope looks a little bit like Mac's creepy little hands. Ha <laughs> 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 I can see that. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. Look out behind! Go behind you, Ted. That, that Quaker girl's sneaking up on you. <laughs> She's giving a uh, Mac a boost so he can strangle you. <laughs> the Quaker girl and Mac strike again. Oh dear! <laughs> the notorious crime duo, Quaker girl and Mac. Do you remember that part in Mac and Me where he throws up? <laughs> oh, okay. His mouth is like a perfect little circle And there's like a stream of water Spraying out of his mouth or something <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen Mac, Mac and Me I don't think I've seen Mac and Me in the last 20 years But those are the two things I remember Are what his hands looked like And the part where he throws up <laughs> <laughs> Let's move on to Thursday Alright if you want to how are you handling what you went through? Well, I can't compare my experience to yours, but I'm going to. My emotions <laughs> have been a jumble. I like that uh, gym over there is like levitating that glass. It's one of those tricks that you do like when you're a little kid and you read it in a book. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, mom and dad, watch this. You're, you're like making the napkin float, but you're really like holding a spoon mm. under the napkin. He, he wrapped a piece of plastic around the uh, around the cup, <laughs> <laughs> and he's holding the piece of plastic <laughs> instead of the glass. Like, whoa, check this out. Look at my incredible psychic powers. I must have gained it from the horrible tragedy. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens, though. You go through a tragedy, you get powers. It accelerates your uh, brain waves. Mm. And turns you into a mutant. Of course. The disaster prompted me on a quest to live in a more meaningful way. I want to make a difference. Boop, boop, boop. I think you already have. <laughs> Whoa. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> Jim. As he puts his uh, lunch tray over his lap. <laughs> <laughs> to be inconspicuous. Uh, Jim, you might want to, you might want to reconsider here. Uh, mm -hmm. You might want to ask for her father's blessing. Oh, God. Can you imagine? I can't, I, I can't wait for him to meet Wil Wilbur. <laughs> I hope that when he meets Wilbur, he's like, all right. Just imagine that, only female, in 40 yes. years. Oh, Christ. Oh, God. Jim, old boy, you made a mistake. Hey, Jim, come on over here and have a seat. We're having Frito pie for dinner. <laughs> you might want to leave early before it gets into my, uh, my large intestine. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, dear. Uh, Jim, you don't know what you're getting yourself into. People in the Weston family don't want to be in the Weston family. Nobody volunteers for it. Yep. Why do you think most most of them are dead? <laughs> They're either dead or divorced 
or locked away somewhere. Nobody wants to be a Wilbur. I mean, uh, West, Weston. <laughs> Even doubly so, nobody wants to be a Wilbur. Yeah, that's why I said it. <laughs> <laughs> Freudian slip. Oh, should we, should we do another one, another day, another dollar? Yeah, let's do Friday. Friday? Friday. I feel very comfortable talking to you, Don. I'm very glad we had this chat too, Jim. It was excellent. <laughs> oh no. She, she's doing her Simpsons impressions now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Either that or Don's powering up to do some kind of like a uh, Ultraman move and fire a triangle shaped uh, laser at him. <laughs> I'm taking. Your other arm. <laughs> Dawn becomes like the Nega uh, Ultraman. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Careful with that triangle beam. <laughs> Watch where you're pointing that thing. Maybe we can do it again sometime. I like that! Duh. <laughs> <laughs> She's got a bit of a little caveman face going on there. Yeah, she looks pretty stupid. <laughs> pretty stupefied like, by the whole thing. Like she ought to have a bone through her nose and she's dragging a club. <laughs> <laughs> Dawn like that! And then she bangs the club on the table. Dawn happy. <laughs> she, and then she rides off on her saber-toothed tiger. Yep, that's how it happened. They've got some very tasteful yellow vertical blinds in the uh, cafeteria yeah, next to, at Mount View. next to the beige walls. <laughs> R really nice interior design. <laughs> really brings out the place. It makes everything feel nice and cheery, like a hospital should. Yep. And it makes every... It, the, the, the light reflecting off of all that yellow makes everybody look pallid and ill. Uh, they don't show it, but like the floor is like, like a peanut color. Because <laughs> everything's pretty much in the same same uh, side of the color wheel. Uh, who needs contrasting colors? Make everything yellow! <laughs> the man who runs it is a big fan of uh, Curious George. <laughs> the, man in the man in the yellow hat. Can you imagine, like, the hospital directors when you walk into the hospital? There's, like, you know, the first one that was opened in 1913, and the picture's in black and white, and the guy isn't smiling. And then you move down the list, and there's, like, a crappy picture of a guy in the 90s with perfectly coiffed hair. And then, like, yeah. finally, you get to the current hospital director, and it's just the man in the yellow hat. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. The plaque underneath says, you know, like... Uh, 2001 through, and then there's nothing there. He's still the, uh, the hospital director. Oh. Uh, so, want to do Saturday? Um. Better? Saturday? Yeah, I don't know. Should we skip it this week? Or should we be, um, like, for completion's sake, just do it? But let's be good. Good boys. We know we haven't skipped Can a day it. yet. Let's, let's do it. Do you have to get back? To volunteer duty now? No, I have some time. Um, Don, I don't think that's where your watch is. <laughs> <laughs> what is she even? Is she like trying to intimidate him? She's like punching her fist into her open palm, like <laughs> I, think I have pie. Whack. <laughs> and she goes, "I could beat you in a fight with one arm behind my." Oh, 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 sorry. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, with both arms behind my bag. So she'd just run into him and, like, bump him with her chin? Yeah, with his, his head butts. Just, just butt into her like a l little penguin? And then kick him and scratch him like an emu. <laughs> Dawson, uh, Dawn went to a self-defense class and learned ostrich-style fighting. Yep, mm. It's pretty good. I'm going to get some air. Want to come with me? Sure! Let's go! 
Let's race. Let's run. <laughs> She's just about to take that tray, toss it over his shoulder, and just start modocking it. Um, <laughs> Last one out's a rotten egg. <laughs> I don't think you want want to race me. My one arm makes me more aerodynamic. <laughs> he just puts his, his his good arm behind him and uses it as a as a rudder. <laughs> The problem is, as he's running, he's constantly listing to the left. Yeah. <laughs> so eventually he just ends up going in a circle. Aw, oh, poor, poor Jimbo. Uh, Jimbo. You poor guy. We're probably going to see a lot more of this guy, I'm afraid. Oh, uh, can't wait. So you want to do Sunday... Uh, yeah, I'll do Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday! Mount View Hospital. There's a tree and some greenery. Being in the sun always helps to clear my head. It has the same effect on me as well. It is good to be human. <laughs> Why is Dawn's writing so wooden? Like, I'm, uh, well... <laughs> Let's let's remember what we're talking about here. But it just seems like there's absolutely no personality in anything Dawn has been saying the last month. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it is most enjoyable. Yes, I am breathing oxygen into my lungs. <laughs> it reminds me of the beauty of life. D spite its sometimes ugly moments. Alright. <laughs> Dawn and her new friend get to know each other better. How are you dealing with your experience, Jim? Therapy helps. The medical team here is top notch. Anybody ever tell you it's impolite to point, Jim? <laughs> <laughs> the medical team here is top notch, but that one over there? Bunch of dumbos. Look at those assholes. Look at those idiots. They keep forgetting which arm I lost. Can't they just look at me? Morons. <laughs> we can hear you, Jim. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I just read the next line. I hadn't read it yet. <laughs> this walk and talk help, too. <laughs> I'm glad we met Don. This walk and talk help too. So I guess uh, Jim suffered from head injuries as well. <laughs> this walk and talk help too. You pretty lady, be my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Jim no have arm. Walk and talk help. <laughs> Hand and talk no good. <laughs> <laughs> Jim better not stay in sun too long. Get itchy, itchy red skin. Hey, <laughs> let's go inside. <laughs> Jim, go inside. Inside, help no itchy red skin. <laughs> <laughs> Same here. It helps to have a friend who understands what life or death situation means. <laughs> I bet it'd also be nice to have a friend who understands the English language. Yeah. <laughs> that would help. Fighting for my life on a sinking ship was one of the most frightening experiences I've ever had. <laughs> oh, Don. Says, says cross-eyed Don. <laughs> well, shoot. Well, shoot, I almost sunk into the dang ocean. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, there's a slide whistle noise after everything she says when her <laughs> when her eyes are crossed. Well, she's like, look, she's looking at the camera, and I think that's that's what's making her go uh, cross eyed. <laughs> it's too close. So back uh, back off. Dawn has those corrective lenses in her glasses that fix her lazy eye, yeah. and she's not wearing her glasses right now so she can impress people. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's like when Steve Brule looks over his glasses. Yes. Check, please. <laughs> <laughs> Next to almost losing my father. I feel your pain. Only too well. Oh my god. Oh dear. I don't that? like that thousand yard stare. <laughs> She must lose her arm as well. Cute woman must lose arm as well. No arm help, Dawn. <laughs> <laughs> then Dawn can see thing Jim's way. Jim way! And then he slams his uh -huh. fist into his chest. Maybe this is all, like, a ruse, and he's actually part of some weird uh, cult. <laughs> oh, like a... Like a, a one-armed cult. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say more like a, uh, a ship survivor, or a ship crash survivor's cult. <laughs> they were like, we were claimed by the sea, and we were defeated. Nope. And then it's part of the initiation, is to cut your own arm off. Right? And they were trying to recruit Dawn, but something went wrong. Yep. And now they're sending Jim in to finish a draw. To give Dawn's arm to the sea. <laughs> <laughs> so. Oh, so that's the end of the week. Yeah, that's it. Um, so, uh, predictions? Uh, you got any of those? For Christ's sake. I don't know. I really don't. <laughs> I don't either. Uh, it's... I, I Honestly, if you would have asked me a month ago whether this storyline would still be going on or not, I would have said no. It, it's like we started a new storyline, but we're focusing on the same characters. It, it's like we started on a new storyline that is about the old storyline. Yes, uh -huh. It's... Exactly. <laughs> oh god, this is uh, torturous. I don't know. I think there's a. I think uh, Jim lost somebody in the uh, ferry accident. Like a girl. Oh. A girlfriend. Or uh, his dad. I don't know. Oh, what if he lost a girlfriend and then he and Dawn start dating? And then he says, uh, hey, Dawn, uh, I think you'd look really good with red hair. Oh, no. He's looking <laughs> for a replacement. Yeah, he's like, oh, I've got all these old, uh, these girls' clothes in here. You want to put on this dress? It's really pretty, don't you think? This looks like, this looks like it'd fit you. <laughs> <laughs> I really think the yellow would bring out your eyes, Dawn. I think you'd look great in that, Shauna. I mean, Dawn. I mean, Donna. I, I mean... I mean... Dawn. I mean, Sean. Wait. <laughs> he, he gets completely confused with that one. <laughs> so, um, want to do the... Uh, where do you want to do the week? What? The what do you want to do the... Of the week, the woolly willy worthy what? Yep. <laughs> yeah, you there heard, we go. You heard me. <laughs> Should we actually do it from the comic this week? <laughs> yeah, probably. Okay. <laughs> uh, my worthy moment of the week is um is a uh, Jim's phantom left arm. No, fair two on Monday. <laughs> I like it. It's a it's a subtle reminder of what once was. <laughs> Let me put my head in my hand. Hands. Maybe he specifically has a prosthetic limb that's not attached to him yeah. yet. But when he wants to hide his face in his hands and weep, he has that yeah, ready he, for him. He just puts it in, in his lap. <laughs> there's there's like a suction cup that he can stick to a table. Yeah, it's underneath. <laughs> <laughs> or he's just wearing like really ugly uh, cargo pants with really huge, huge pockets. 
<laughs> huge pockets with a fake arm inside one of the pockets. Uh, so, what was your brain on the, this thrilling week? Uh, the extreme close-up on Dawn in Sunday's <laughs> panel. <laughs> Sorry. It, oh yeah, Sunday's strip. Uh, she's She's got that kind of just doe-eyed, goofy, cross-eyed, <laughs> idiot expression uh, on her face. I, I think that kind of cross-eyed look is really consistent with Dawn's yep, character so far. Pretty much. The, blew, well, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> so, uh, hmm, yeah. we've done that. Yep, uh, should we, that's it. Should we, uh, should we open up the kissing booth? Oh, oh you better believe it. <laughs> All right. Uh, hold on. Let me get some chapstick on here. My lips are a little parched. I want them mm. soft and pillowy for the people we're about to kiss. We really need a jingle or something for this. Yeah, we do. Um, we'll come up with something. <laughs> <laughs> but time for the kissing booth. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Let's get to it. Um, right. First, I'd... should we start with uh, Facebook? I yep. Uh, on my personal Facebook page, um, uh, Bria and Jonna, they both like the post, and Craig, in fact, posted a comment with a oh. prediction of his own. Oh boy, let's hear it. Uh, my, uh, let me do my impression of Craig, okay? Alright. <laughs> uh, my prediction for next week, the one-armed man is going to tell his story. He was hiking out in the desert near Santa Royale. He fell into a canyon and his arm was trapped under a boulder. After 127 hours, he had to cut his own arm off with a Swiss Army knife. Mary will butt in <laughs> somehow. <laughs> uh, I know you've never met Craig, but I have, and that's exactly what he sounds like. Oh, wow. <laughs> I, bet it's, I bet it's really, really impressive. Uh, it's very accurate, trust me, and Craig is going to be so happy to hear me doing an impression <laughs> of him when he listens to this week's show. <laughs> But uh, thank you to all you guys. You each get a kiss. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Mwah. Oh yeah, and Eric gave you a kiss too. It's a collective <laughs> kiss for all three of you. It's like when a sports team is like, okay, everybody, hands in the middle. Eric goes, okay, everybody, lips in the middle. <laughs> uh, I love y'all just a uh, smooch. Just a little smooch. Um... And uh, on Twitter, Bartek retweeted us again. Thank you, Bartek. Thank you very much. You're a good friend. We like Mwah. you. Uh, kisses for Bartek. And uh, so, what do we? What do we get on the uh, YouTube? What's that? A, that's one of those like the outward kisses. <laughs> uh, that would be called a Zerbert. And <laughs> <laughs> I as, think. Uh, that that term was coined on the Cosby Show, if I uh, recall correctly. <laughs> So, what have we got on Facebook? Uh, Wait, no, YouTube. Oh, uh, yes, got Shiny Ryuk this week. Our old pal. Our old pal Shiny Ryuk actually brought up um, a uh, a good point. We don't have an official for what it's worth Facebook. Nope. Uh, we do have a Tumblr. Our Tumblr is fwiwcast.tumblr.com. Yep. And this week, I'll put up a Facebook, and we can all get in the discussion on Facebook about Mary Worth. We can get in on the discussion. Join the get, join the forum. Come sit at the cool kids' table and talk about Mary Worth with me and Eric, because we're the coolest. See what your friends are saying about uh, Mary Worth. I'm imagining um, Shini Ryuk riding up to school on her skateboard Monday morning <laughs> and she like does a cool kick flip and then does that thing where you stomp on the back of the board and catch the board yeah. in your hand and there's like a thing on her backpack where she can hold her skateboard most of this fantasy I'm having involves mm. a skateboard yeah this is that's nothing to do with Mary or it's just but uh Shini Ryuk walks up to her friends and she's like uh, walks up to her friends on the quad and she's like, uh -huh. hey, hey, did you guys see the new Mary Worth? Sam and Eric have been talking about it all week. And they're like, whoa, dude, who's Sam and Eric? <laughs> and <laughs> she's like, check out this cool Facebook page, guys. <laughs> that's that's pretty much how it's going to go down. And I'll, <laughs> and I'll go back to the uh, skateboard. 
It has like a oh yeah Mary Worth's uh, face on it. Oh yeah, definitely. It has like Mary Worth's face, and she's um she's uh I don't know she's riding a skateboard. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and on the bottom <laughs> of Mary Worth's skateboard is the same image. It's one of those recursive things. Wow, sounds pretty cool. So um. Look forward to a Facebook page coming up here soon. We've got a Tumblr, fwiwcast.tumblr.com. Yep. Mm. Uh, Keep on listening. That's the kissing booth. Um, if you want to show up on the kissing booth, just like or comment on a on an episode. It's not that big a deal. Ah, uh, got music. Music again. God damn it! Why do we even have music in this fucking show? <laughs> Um, okay, we'll edit this into the front. Yeah, I will. Uh, first off, we'd like to thank the Aquabats for, um, letting us illegally use our theme song. Uh, as a matter of fact, it's not even their song anymore, it's ours. It's called Sequence Erase. Yep. The Aquabats wrote, wrote it. it, but we have all rights and privileges to it. Yep, we own, <laughs> because we own the whole thing. No, but you guys should go to theaquabats.com and buy some gear and some albums. They're a really cool band, one of my favorites. Buy the, uh, uh, buy the songs that uh, they, they haven't given to us. Uh, you can buy them in CD format. You can look them up on iTunes. I think all their albums are on iTunes. Amazon. Whatever you like. Yeah, whatever you... Listen, if there's a place on the internet where you like to buy things, odds are the Aquabats have something there. Yep. Uh, also, I would like to thank the Robot Beach Boys. Um, I heard that um, Brian Wilson swallowed a small computer and then split into four parts and formed the Robot Beach Boys wow. many years ago, just so we could use their song, California Girls, uh, at the end of our show, which you'll be hearing here in a little bit. Yeah, that's, uh, that's impressive. Uh, that's what happens when you swallow a computer, is you turn into a band that produces crappy-sounding middies from the yep. mid-90s. So that's our show. Yeah. That's it. That's the that's week. The end. Uh, my name is Sam. Hi, Eric. And remember, perhaps there is no agony worse than the tedium I experienced waiting for something to happen. And that was your week in Mary Worth. For what it's worth! Yeah.